Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to week two of our online beauty course. I hope you've all had an amazing day. It's a bit wet um, here, which is good because we need some rain. The grass is looking really dry and awful, but it's made it a bit cool. So um, I hope tomorrow, well, I think it's supposed to rain for a couple of days now, which that'll be nice. We'll get nice green grass again. So last week we talked about all the different skin types and I just want to recap on that. So you've got your normal, dry, oily and combination skin and you're actually born with your skin type. So um, it changes a little bit when um, you're in your teenage years but basically it's genetic and when you've got your skin type, that's your skin type. Hi Sharon! Thanks for joining me. Um, so then with the environment and um, maybe medication and illness and um, just even diet can affect your skin and give you what we call skin conditions. So they're totally different. Everyone has a skin type and then there are skin conditions and they can change over the years. So when you're in your teenage years, you might have oily and you know skin that's got lots of blemishes but as you age and your skin um, the um, hormones in that sort of level out then your skin is a little bit easier to control so what I want to talk to you to about tonight is the different skin conditions and give you a few ideas on um, how you can treat those just quickly tonight I'm going to do more next week with all the ultra care products so We'll go into a little bit deeper next week about what um, treatment products will help you. So tonight it's really just a little bit about the different skin conditions and helping to choose the right skin care that goes with the condition to help with that as well. So I've done another little sheet so um, later on I'll pop that back up on online on the page so if you want to print it out you can or it'll be there in the file so you'll be able to get it to it any time. So you, there's about probably five main skin conditions that people um, complain about or are worried, concerned about. And of course, one of the ones you hear a lot is, oh, my skin is really sensitive. And often it's dry skin that can be a little bit sensitive, but any skin can be sensitive. And that's something that can be, um, because of the environment, they might be um, really hypoallergenic to um, pollens and dust and that sort of thing um, their skin might get really dry and then that makes it more sensitive um, from air conditioning and heating and, and things like that so the way you tell if someone's skin is sensitive you'll find that it's either hot or warm to touch um, and it has a very fine texture and it can be prone to red and blotchiness so they might sometimes have really blotchy cheeks or their nose or um, sometimes around the um, the edge of your, like around your mouth and that can be a bit blotchy um, and also um, it's quite easily irritated <clears throat> so that could be from products or it could just be from the air and you often find they'll have some um, broken capillaries so the little blood vessels that you can see um, are there as well. So that's your sensitive skin. So to treat sensitive skin, we've of course got our beautiful Comfort Plus. So this is just perfect. So often um, it can sensitive skin can be treated just by um, getting the skin back into balance. So the Comfort range, they might not need to use it all the time. They might find that you know one lot of comfort might get their skin back into balance and they're fine with another range but otherwise we've got our comfort plus and the perfect thing about this one is it's anti-aging as well so and it's vegan so that gives you a couple of things to work off but if someone was really quite sensitive and most people know that they're sensitive they'll react straight away to different products or ingredients in a product I would always suggest to try the Comfort Plus first and then see how their skin goes. So that's how I would treat a sensitive skin. So then you've got dehydrated skin. So 
that's when you might have the fine crisscross lines. Um, if you attempt to push on the skin, it'll go into little crisscross lines. Um, it feels really tight and um, dehydrated. It'll also sometimes be a bit crepey, so quite fine and um, you know delicate looking. Um, and a little bit papery, especially around the eyes, the lips and the cheeks. So dehydration is lack of moisture. And even oily skin can be dehydrated. So first we need to drink lots of water. And in winter that gets a bit tricky because you're not really as thirsty. So it's important to still keep up the fluids because we're mostly water. And so by keeping your fluids up, that helps your skin as well. Um, but a really good moisturiser is going to help with dehydrated skin. So any of our moisturisers would be fine. If the skin is really dehydrated, um, I'd go with a moisturiser that's a little bit more intense. So possibly the Nutri-Moist or Nutri-Moist Intense. And um, there's also the Restore Intense um, Day Cream that you could suggest for someone who's very dehydrated. Then, of course, we've got our um, moisturising system and the Aqua Boost Supply. And the whole idea of those is to actually trap moisture in the skin and stop that dehydration. So they could be added into any of the skincare programs. Then you've got problem and blemish skin. And as I mentioned before, often that's just um, through the teenage years, but some people still have breakouts, especially if um, they're sometimes it's very hormonal so a little tip with that hormonal um, breakouts are generally around the chin if it's on the cheeks it's often because of their diet and the forehead tends to be stressed so sometimes you'll see um, kids that are in, in um, high school going through the year 12 and that they get lots of little breakouts on their forehead and that's sometimes because they're really stressed about passing exams and that so someone who has um, problem and blemish skin, they'll be prone to pimples and blackheads. Um, mostly it's with an oily skin, but not always. Um, they'll have heavy shine. Their pores will be quite enlarged and their complexion will look a bit um, coarse, almost to the point of being orange peel sort of looking. So for those girl people, because it could be boys as well, um, I would start with the clear range. So it's perfect for oily skin and blemishes. It's still gentle enough not to strip the skin because the last thing you want to do is to strip all the oil off the acid mantle. So because all that will do is make your skin produce more oil. So it's just like a vicious circle. So you want to just rebalance the skin. So it still needs some oil, but it needs water and moisture um, to stop it dehydrating. So the clear range is perfect for that. It's got the mineralized zinc and the ginger so they work as um, like an antibacterial they're going to help to dry out the pimples and blemishes without stripping the skin and bleaching it or anything horrid like that and they might find that again only um one or two treatments you know with um the clear and their skin starts to throw up i've actually had girls that had really angry breakouts and their skin was really red and looked really sore and I've given them a facial with the clear and straight away um, you can the redness tends to um, soften it's nowhere near as bad and it's not as sore and um, harsh looking so it works straight away it just calms the skin and helps with um, clearing out the breakouts without stripping their skin then you've got sun damaged and pigmented skin so most of us that live in Australia in this climate, but particularly our age and around, um, where sunscreen wasn't such a big deal as it is now, we had sunscreen, but it wasn't very good. And there was not the awareness of how damaging the sun can be. So um, what happens is the little, um, the skin cells start to break down as you age and the sunlight can get in the UVA rays and the UVB rays can get down in further down into the skin cells. So, and it actually affects the melanin in your skin. And that's what your um, age spots are. Hi there, um, Michelle. And I think it's um, Catherine. I can't tell by my little teeny weeny pictures. I probably need to have my glasses on. When I have the phone the other way, it um, tells me who's there, but I can only see little tiny pictures. 
Um, so we first of all, you need to protect your skin from the sun. So using a good um, product with sunscreen in it and 50 plus is the best we can get at the moment. Um, but to help lighten and brighten that skin, we've got a few different products, but of course the white age is particularly designed for pigment, pigmented and um, skin that's got sunspots. So it's going to help gently to lighten and brighten. It won't bleach your skin. It uses the peony flower extract. So it's just going to gently lighten and brighten the skin and it helps with those um, little dark spots, age spots and pigmentation. And of course, next week we'll talk about some of the ultra care products that are going to help with that as well. So um, if you have someone who says, oh, look, I've got lots of this pigmentation and that's their main concern, they're not too worried about lines or anything like that. If it's the pigmentation that worries them the most, I would start them on the white age and see how that goes. And then if they are worried about lines and wrinkles, either we'll could you suggest some of the um, platinum or one of the other ultra care products or they could move on to the restore and of course that brings us to mature and aging skin we all get there sometime and some people are really blessed they have beautiful skin forever um, but we're not all that lucky so it's important and none of some of us may have never you know known to look after our skin when we were younger or you know there's lots of different reasons you I know with myself I could never find the right products um, and with four children I didn't have a lot of spare money to go and spend a lot of money on different products and then they not work so sometimes I would buy something from the supermarket and I look at my face and it go all red and feel horrible so I would just go oh, I'll just don't worry about it I'll just use water and that's why you know I might have a few more lines and wrinkles than I would have maybe had if I had have been a bit more careful with my skin but today's um, teenagers are a little bit more savvy about looking after their skin and they they all know that they need to use some moisturizer and that so if you've got um, you know the fine lines and wrinkles showing up then of course the restore is going to be the first protocol um, that's got your anti-aging ingredients it also has ingredients to help with pigmentation and sun damage so it's a perfect one for someone who's worried about anti-aging and a little bit of pigmentation um, and of course you've got the sunscreen in the moisturizer and then you've got your night cream and then there's the serum as well still with that one other than that if you really want to go up a little bit more then you would go with the platinum and I know we don't have a cleanser at the moment with the platinum there's an issue with the bottle that's uh, from what I've heard, that's the issue. Um, they're working on a new container for it. So when that comes back, we'll have the whole range. But you could still use the other platinum products, um, even if you don't have the cleanser, and maybe just use either the White Age or the Restore as your cleanser at the moment. Then, of course, the other one we've got that would help is just a really nice light skincare. So if someone just wants something to maintain their skin, then you've got the Irena if they're between the 18 and 35 year olds. I saw some on the Beauty Hub the other day, I saw some girls mentioning that this is not enough, moisturising enough for their skin. It is a very light skincare range. That's the way it was designed. It was designed for 18 to 35s. Everybody could use it. It suits every skin type, but it doesn't suit every skin age. So as you age, your skin needs just that little bit more help because it doesn't, the skin cells don't regenerate as quickly. So you need a product that's going to help with that skin regeneration to keep your skin looking glowing and amazing. So this is perfect for a little bit younger skin. If you've got normal and brilliant skin, then you might find this is enough. Um, but, you know, it is designed for younger skin the the millennials as they call them um but as i said it's vegan and some people just want to use it because of that so if you find they using this one and go oh it's not quite enough then add in some moisturizing system or the aqua boost supply and that might be enough to just boost that boost the moisturizer so it feels like it's doing more of a job and then of course you've got our beautiful nutramedics range and this 
Amelda Roche still uses this and she's what, 83 and her skin is amazing. It has the apricots and 40 botanical extracts. So it's a brilliant range just for keeping your skin maintained and looking healthy. And as I say, some people just love it. It doesn't have sunscreen in it. So maybe the day cream, you might need to use the Smart Shield. But, you know, it's a beautiful range. And it's a good one to start um, teenagers on too. If their skin isn't oily, this is a great one as a start off one. And I know um, Catherine used to use it, you know, started on her which makes range and I'm sure she still uses it so uh, and she, her skin is amazing so I've also put together um, on the, the other side of this another little chart that just gives you a bit of an idea of um, what the concern might be and um, what the solution which skincare and what results that they would get so for instance the dry skin using um, either the comfort um, or some moisturising system if, if they're sensitive, or even just some of the um, the Nutramedics range, or even the um, new, uh, what do we call it, the cleansing balm. It's a beautiful one. And maybe the apricot oil. So that's going to help, help to soothe and hydrate the skin. So I've done that for you, and I'll pop that one up on the um, page as well. And, of course, in your little... In your um, catalogue, there's more about the skin there. So it's the same sort of thing that has the little pictures. So that's going to help you as well. And it also has about the skin con um, the skin conditions as well. So that will help. And then if you've downloaded um, this booklet or if you ordered it from Orange Canvas, um, it has the same sort of information as well about all the different skin conditions. So that's going to help you as well to help help you and if you were helping someone else it gives you a bit more information on how to use all that so um i hope that's helped i'm trying not to fill you you know to give you too much information at one time because it can all just get a bit too confusing but if you've got any questions that um, i haven't answered or you're still not quite sure of please just um send me you know put it in the comments or send me a message and I'm sure the other girls might have that have now the watch tonight might have some questions so um happy for you to put in and remember to comment that you're here because when you've come to all of the classes each week for the four weeks I'm going to do a lucky draw for the girls who are here every week so um I hope that's helped you with this difference between skin conditions and skin types and um that's giving you a bit more of an idea of you know what skincare to suggest if someone has some of those problems and they're worried about it and um i hope to see you next week and next week we'll go into more detail about all our ultra care products because i know they can get a little bit confusing you go oh my goodness you know which does what and which one is the best one for all the different um conditions and skin types so I thought we'll spend a little bit more time with that next week and just go through that because I know that can just be like, even just the difference between um, moisture the moisturizing system and the aqua boost supply that's the difference between those two can get a little bit you go well don't they do the same thing why are they different and I actually have a little YouTube video so if you ever hop on my um, YouTube channel it's just in my name it's really easy to find I did a little video one day on the difference between the two. So um, you can always pop on there and have a little look-see before next week. But I'll explain to you what the difference is, why they they do similar, but maybe just a little bit different. So um, thank you so much for joining me again tonight. And I hope I've helped you a little bit with um, the skin types and skin conditions. And I'm really looking forward to sharing all about our um ultra care products next week because they're my favorites and they're all ones you can add into your normal skincare so as i said any questions or any comments you've got pop them in the box below and um i'll get to them and get back to you so have a fabulous night and a fabulous week and i will talk to you all next week bye for now